A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle Elijah Pleat to Chambers once more with a pounding word. Hallelujah! A harsh one and also an intriguing one. Glory be to God. And our theme, our topic is this morning my story put behind bars for speaking, thus say the Lord. And our theme, born, hallelujah, to win. Glory be to God. We recognize that today is um, the, the final of the World Cup and Messi, hallelujah. I believe Messi seems like he wants this cup more than ever. And with that fighting spirit, as I was saying to the people all over the nation, and the Messi is is in age and this is his last world cup and i i wish he wins the cup he take the cup west um, messi is an excellent player and um he is someone who is intriguing to watch exciting to watch he he brings excitement to the game and as i said the analysis that i gave pertaining to france and argentina France will be going with the um, superstar mentality. Messi will be going with a fighting, a fighting spirit. You notice they lost their first match in, in the first stage. And they recognize that they underestimated their opponent. And today they, 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 they suffered a severe the severe consequence and that's how life is you cannot underestimate anyone but i believe that messi is going to do everything in his power to secure this world cup and our scripture text this morning is psalm 51 verses 17 and that from the reading from verse 2 3 4 6 10 through to the 17th verse which is the key verse wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins is ever before me against all the only against the only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear and be clear when thou judgest behold thou desires the truth in the inward man i'm speaking to the lead of jamaica god needs the truth in the inward part of you you coming up on national tv reading off a piece of paper your repentance that does not seem sincere <laughs> glory be to god and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom Creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. He will, he will not despise. Hallelujah. God will not despise a broken and a humble heart. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. He is modeled to us of what real heart repentance looks like. Hallelujah. He wrote the psalm as an as an agonized cry to God for forgiveness. Hallelujah. There must be sincerity in your repentance, lead of Jamaica. You did it in 2018 and you come back and do it again. Do you think the people of Jamaica is to trust you? Hallelujah glory be to God. We saw where the leader of Jamaica came out on national TV asking for forgiveness of, of his sins. If the Prime Minister came out last week, Sunday, on, on the press, asking the nation to forgive him of his, of, 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 of his sin, reading from a piece of paper, this means God has spoken. Hallelujah! To Pastor Peter Chambers, in 2020 and 2021 you know the, the bible said that he will give you the last laugh and i believe that i'm having the last laugh i'm just laughing at the act of god the prime minister of jamaica recognized 
under his so-called leadership Jamaica has become worse socially economically spiritually and financially because he breached spiritual laws and once you touch spiritual laws the Prime Minister of Jamaica you're heading into destruction and that's one of the things that you and your Obia cabinet has come into Jamaica and done you ruled out the body of Christ you mash up the church you vaccinate people in the church and you lock down the church and refuse for the people to worship God and these are the judgment coming to you hallelujah glory be to God since he took office since he has released the state of emergency murder crime violence extortion robbers drug trade gun trade scammers have been in the and the increase we have not seen so many murders in decades it was last week four security officers were found dead and a few days after another security officer was found dead the same time same time is taken over by bloodshed murder robbers extortion scammers and more so in the various constituency of the JLP party, most of your constituencies are being affected by criminal elements. To all the second prophets, to the so-called prophets and so-called Christians and so-called prophetesses. In Jamaica, who came out when I was locked up, declaring hallelujah god did not spoke to peter chambers and he is exhibiting politics now we understand who were the guilty one exhibiting protecting your belly protecting an evil who will be a party all of you so-called prophets and prophetess you all should be ashamed of yourselves it was all about your bellies and your fame that brought you all to open disgrace because some of you were saying that God was exposing me when the Prime Minister told a lie on me fabricate me and lie that I, I threatened him because he wanted psychologically to eliminate me and to kill me and that will need to know if God did not spoke to Reverend Peter Chambers, why is the Prime Minister of Jamaica coming out on national TV begging the nations to forgive him from, from his evil that he has done to the nation and the citizens of this land? We did not, we don't know what is his motive because he did the very stunt. Hallelujah! In 2018, and judgment came to the churches and to the land of Jamaica. Could it be that the Prime Minister recognized a local government election is near and he realized maybe he won't, maybe he would not be favored. So he's using psychology on the Jamaican citizens as what he has been doing over some years now. I need everyone to look into this. Do we recognize the demolishing of lands have come to a pause? Watch that. Remember the other day, he was pushing up people up the, 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 the capture lands and he did not implement systems or mechanisms that could help the Jamaican people, the citizens of this land to possess a land for themselves. Though they, praise God, dishonestly took the land. Glory be to God. I want people to understand what is happening now. If you were a true leader that have compassion to the people of this land, why didn't you implement laws? Hallelujah. Yes, the people stole the land. But implement, implement laws to help the people to possess from a legal and not from an illegal perspective. Glory be to God. So, I've come to a pause since he knew the local government is near. Govern the local government election is near. What God has revealed if the Prime Minister take the local government election, all those who are on illegal lands will be taken off. Watch that word. 
mark this word and remember God has revealed the secrets of heart glory be to God so the Bible said that a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise glory be to God so you can't just come on uh, uh, national TV saying that you are asking for forgiveness asking for forgiveness there are requirements you've got to renounce the homosexual law that you did on the sites you've got to remove abolish the abortion law that's too that you and minister Cuthbert have implemented among the women that is causing the bloodshed upon the land you've got to abolish the obia law my god almighty remember you mr chuck chuck whatever his name is minister chuck came in with the obia team pushing the obia law and why would you want why would you want to bring in the obia law to kill off the people you know that obia is evil obia will destroy the people of this land my god almighty you've got to repent of the the prophets that you have killed because you have killed prophets in jamaica and you came off after pastor peter chambers but god spared me from the rod 